Okay, so I have a little project going here. I bought this pottery wheel four or five years ago for 40 or so dollars at a yard sale. At one time it was a little tabletop wheel and it had legs. Uh, it came off of here and there must have been a motor at some point but obviously this is just the way I got it. I just pulled the legs off it. So my plan is to build a box and this will sit on top of the box like that and the pulley will be below it. And I'm going to use a treadmill motor. Now I got this treadmill for free off of Facebook Marketplace. About 20 minutes from the house, she put it up. I had it back in my house within an hour. So I've been thinking about this for a long time. And these treadmills, they're all over the place for dirt cheap money. But the important thing I was looking for was this kind of control for the speed. Uh, I guess it's just a pot in there that uh, controls the speed. No digital, no board or anything like that. There is digital on this. It's broken. I'm not going to use it anyway, obviously. I'm only interested in using this as a speed control. And I'm going to uh, rig up going to be like a handle type of um, speed control like on a, on a shimpo or something like that. So I'm building this wheel basically because I'm going to build a, a pottery in the spring and I want to integrate uh, a wheel into a, a workbench so I could walk up to it and stand while throwing small pots uh, just to get off a chair or whatever and just have you know have another wheel in case I wanted to do some you know, porcelain and have a clean wheel and I don't have to worry about cross contamination or anything. So uh, I am going to start to take this apart in a minute and see how much I can separate. I know nothing about electronics. Um, that's the biggest problem I have right now. I actually have a couple of uh, DC motors. Uh, but uh, the power supplies cost a fortune for those things and if I can use the everything from this treadmill it's free obviously so obviously I tested this before I you know took it from the lady it worked fine so that shouldn't be a problem uh, this wheel is interesting uh, I don't know how old it is I'm not even sure who makes it but this wheel doesn't have any bearings what it is is it sits in a the shaft is in like a brass sleeve and you put grease in it which is pretty cool uh, I think once this wheel is all up and running with some fresh grease it's going to be quiet I have a feeling it will be very quiet um, I took it all out, it's all clean now, there's no grease in this that's why there's a little bit of slop and it's not as quiet as it could be but I think if I get some good grease and pack it in, it'll be a pretty quiet wheel. So I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what will happen with this. So a couple of drains there. I'll, um, I'll run a drain out of it, straight out of the box. So it'll be pretty cool. It's got a little separation for tools and whatnot. But like I said, I'm going to work this into a, a bench. So I plan on doing it. So say this was the bench in the shop. Uh, I would I would build the box out so it overhangs like this so you know I can walk up on it and you know have no you know not the bench won't be right here it'll be overhanging so I think it'll be pretty cool so let me get this treadmill apart and I'll show you what the guts look like all right so I kind of got this apart a little bit I took this apart and I'm like hmm that's uh, simple enough. Shouldn't be too hard to figure out. I took the cover off and uh, there's the brains of the operation. So I'm going to document this and take all this out and leave it all connected to the best of my ability. I'm not sure about any of this. I'm not going to lie, 
Uh, this Y here, I thought it might have been a ground, but it's, I don't, I don't know what that is, maybe some sort of a, a magnet. It was pushed close to that pulley there, so I'm assuming it has something to do with the motor and as the motor spins around those metal fins or maybe registers something, I have no idea. But um, I really want to make this work, so I'm going to slowly take this apart and then kind of stuff all, you know, stuff it all into an enclosure, some sort of waterproof enclosure. But the first step is to get it out and make sure I can get the motor running on the bench with this speed control. So I'll try and I'll get all this stuff out in one piece and um, see what we can make happen. Okay, so here's all the guts on the bench. This motor is hard to believe. It's 2.2 .2 horsepower, 1.3 continuous duty, 95 volts. So. I'd like to keep this flywheel on here, so I might um, just try and rig up a regular V-belt pulley to this flywheel somehow. I don't really want to be banging on this motor. Pulling out that flywheel, it looks like it might be threaded on the shaft, maybe. I don't even have an idea, so I'm not going to mess with it. I will uh, fabric cobble something. So, um, here's the extent of my electronic knowledge, if you're ready. So, this is the motor. No idea what that is. A coil, I would uh, guess. No idea. There's a circuit breaker here. Uh, in case something gets overloaded, I guess. Keep That's handy, I'll keep that. There's the brains of the operation. No idea. Clueless. Here's the back of the uh, speed control panel. Now, obviously this is the potentiometer. I think that's what they call the pot. That's obviously what makes the speed go. This is just the display panel that was burned out and it was burned out because weird design. It takes batteries which is kind of weird because you need to pull six screws to get this cover off to put the batteries in and you know if you don't unplug it I'm assuming you could get a little whack but so um, and this here is the uh, on off button right there in the kill switch so I'm um I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this yet so what I can definitely do is get rid of this board because I pulled this off, that's the only thing that's connected to the harness here. And when you run the controls, the motor turns. So I am jazzed, to say the least. So what I'm going to do now is, obviously this big harness here, I don't, I don't need this, all this wire. So I'm going to do some cutting and splicing and I'm going to cut all this up and kind of reconnect it all into the smallest package I possibly can. Kind of like one control box. And except for these wires here for the speed control, I'll leave those a little long so I can move that pot to where I'm going to mount it. So, all in all, it's, I think it's going to work out well. Uh, I really like the fact that these um, treadmill motors have, you know, flywheels on them. So it'll keep some momentum going, which is kind of cool, actually. So the mount, right there is the motor mount on the treadmill. I'll probably end up cutting that off and building that in a box, because that's a perfectly good bracket that fits perfectly for that motor so I'll probably use that I'll have to rotate it so it's vertical but I'm gonna probably work that into the design somehow so I can reuse that and uh, 
at this point, I'm just happy I didn't blow something up or unplug a wire and not find out where I went back in. And I'm just glad it's working on the bench at this point. So, uh, that's it for now. The kill switch, the on-off switch. So, I'm going to keep that and actually use this as a switch. I guess I could just connect those two wires and plug it in and use it and unplug it when I'm done, but I'll leave that switch wired in. Um, this wire here was on the back of that other control board, which <clears throat> was this. Now, this has that digital display for whatever exercising. And this goes all the way through this harness and connects to this little magnet thing that I was looking at earlier, which was kind of in front of the uh, pulley on the actual treadmill. So since that connects to this board, it has nothing to do with the motor. It must have something to do with calculating this nonsense, so we don't need any of that. So that's good. One less wire to deal with. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to splice these three wires are uh, the same as these three. I'm just it's five feet long, so I'm going to connect these short and connect the power from here I'll shorten them up connect them to here and I should have a nice little package I can bolt into the bottom of the box that I make for this wheel so I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy so as long as none of these electronics blow out I'm assuming this is kind of a universal part this pot here but as long as nothing in this board blows out I should get some life out of this wheel. And of course I'm going to take the numbers off this treadmill because I'm going to bet that these boards are pretty generic too for these treadmills. Or if not, I can always get one off eBay if it did that were to you know if it were to die. This was an old Sears treadmill, I guess, so uh, but I'll pull all the numbers off it. Any numbers I can, I'll pull numbers off of here. And because honestly, I have no idea what uh, how this magic works. So, but it does work. So I'm happy about that.